These are hardly in accord with the judicious, moderate, and sparing manner outlined in USA student handbooks. These openly published regulations make deviations from policies less likely to lead to abuse. The problem with that, from my perspective, is that I have seen images allegedly showing damage done by paddling in US schools that show a level of damage and injury that massively exceeds anything I have ever seen inflicted by a cane. While I fully understand and appreciate that these images were deliberately selected by those opposed to corporal punishment and can therefore be assumed in many cases to show the worst excesses that can be committed, it does make me wonder what really is typical in the US and what isn't.